That lecture was so confusing. I learned that nanoparticles are everywhere, but it's so hard to understand something you can't see. Should I be worried about nanoparticles? Nanoparticles are actually a fairly common type of material in many different environments. Nanoparticles are tiny objects made up of all types of matter and have at least one dimension between 1 and 100 nanometers. That's kind of a hard number to imagine. So what if we were to upscale nanoparticles so they can be seen by the naked eye? Let's try and put things in perspective. If a human head was the size of the Earth, then a typical nanoparticle would appear the size of a leaf. Just like leaves, nanoparticles are very diverse. They come in a wide variety of shapes and sizes, and in the same way as leaves have a variety of colours, nanoparticles can comprise numerous different chemical compounds. Naturally occurring nanoparticles can be found in volcanic ash, wind-blown sand, atmospheric dusts, ocean spray, and even biological matter. One of the simplest examples of the importance of natural nanoparticles is in cloud formation. Nanoparticles are also formed incidentally through everyday activities, such as mining, running engines, lighting fires, and burning fuels for energy. Too many pollutant nanoparticles, as a result of these activities, can be potentially damaging to human health. Scientists are developing synthetic nanoparticles with shapes, sizes and chemistries tailored for a specific job. For example, certain nanoparticles make efficient carriers for drugs around the body, and when administered directly into the bloodstream, can target cancerous cells. Nanoparticles can have many positive and negative effects for human society. Remember, nanoparticles are everywhere and are the causes and products of hundreds of natural and engineered processes. Our advice? Like everything, consume in moderation.